Okay, so the, my name is Matthew, this is Matt TV, and we're going to have some, uh, some background noise to contend with. Uh, this is coming live from Barrington, right here north end Halifax. We got Barrington traffic on my left. I'm looking out uh, my sliding door windows with an amazing view, seeing the Angus L. Macdonald off in the distance, looking southeast. Uh, going to be in here real quick, and I'm going to be doing this uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday mornings at 645. I know it's super early, uh, but like I've said a thousand times, uh, it's not always about the, the live views. It's about the content of the program because we know that I will save this and you can watch this at your leisure. Yes, uh, Kelly, good morning. So uh, anyone who's seen the program uh, knows that I've just, I've made some notes and I'm going to go through those notes with you and uh, try and make things that are happening in my life relatable to you. Okay, uh, we have one contestant, Kelly. <laughs> are you ready to go? So uh, let's just compare notes. Let's see how your day is going compared to mine. Uh, so I hope everything is well in Digby, Nova Scotia. So uh, the weather here today, according to Environment Canada, uh, mainly sunny here this morning, probably some clouds rolling in, but I don't think there's any precipitation in the forecast for today, but with the wind chill, we're looking at minus 18. So interested to know what the weather is like in Digby and in the slice of your particular part of the planet. Uh, I know in Woodstock and Brunswick, where I'm from, Carlton County, uh, there is uh, the possibility of snow uh, later on this afternoon. And I know with the wind chill, it's gonna feel like minus 15. So there is a, a frost bite warning in effect for, for Carlton County. So. I'm talking about Carlton County and Woodstock, and I know that all the residents in New Brunswick are in a lockdown right now, but I wanna, I wanna give you something that maybe will shed a little light. Maybe we're coming the end of this long, dark three-year tunnel of this pandemic. Uh, just to let you know, just some numbers here. Here we are on the 19th day of January, 2022. Uh, it's a Wednesday, uh, but by the, end of, by the end of this month, we will, the days will be about 20 minutes longer. So every day uh, we are gaining at least one minute in length in the day. So oh, that's something to look forward to at the end of January. Know that your days are going to be a little bit longer. And I know everyone's got an iPhone for the majority of people, that is true. Or some type of device where you have lots of apps. Uh, I don't know what your apps are, uh, but my suggestion uh, you know, to get away from the news and all the doom and gloom that's going on, just download uh, some simple apps, uh, some of my favorite apps. Uh, the app that tells me when, when the sun's going to rise. I have an app to tell me when the moon will rise, what the tides are, uh, the International Space Station, what's happening in the nighttime sky. So uh, shake it up a little bit. Shake it up a little bit. Uh, quickly, uh, I want to talk about sports just really quickly. I am in no way a sports expert. Uh, when it comes to any sport, uh, I do have my favorite teams, I have my favorite players, uh, but there's a couple of stories I want to talk about. This past weekend, we know that the NFL playoffs are underway. Uh, this past weekend, there were six games in the wild card. And I had made reference in a previous show that uh, not once did I see a regular season game, but I did make picks who I thought would win uh, this past weekend. I went five for six. I picked five winners out of the six games. The only team I bet against were the Cincinnati Bengals, which I will not do this week. So for the record here on a Wednesday, uh, a few days ahead of this round of NFL playoffs, I'm going to give you my winners this week. I think Cincinnati will win. I believe Green Bay will win, Tampa Bay, and the Kansas City Chiefs. I think by the end of this weekend, by the end of Sunday, because you have two games on Saturday, two games on Sunday. I think by the end of the time on Sunday, those will be your four teams that will be vying for this year's Super Bowl. Um, and quickly, so that's my first little tidbit of sports. And quickly, I just want to spend a little bit of time talking about uh, the number one tennis player in the world, Novak Djokovic. Wait, sorry. Oh, I'm being told I've already spent too much time talking about Novak Djokovic. Uh, this is a really cool story, uh, and my name is Matthew. This is Matt TV. I'm going to be doing this uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday mornings. 
at 6.45. And yeah, my heart's racing a little bit because I am racing against the clock. Uh, I do have to go to work, so I, I want to... I've already been in here five minutes, and I'm halfway through the show, so I appreciate the live views. Uh, I appreciate the comments, uh, the back and forth. Absolutely, this is why I do it. Uh, this is therapy for me. So if you're watching live, I appreciate it. If you're watching this at your leisure from wherever, I appreciate that as well. Now, a quick little story here. Uh, because of where we are, uh, we're like on the coast of Nova Scotia. We are in Halifax. So when the storms roll in off the North Atlantic, we uh, we face the brunt of those storms. We were the first ones to receive the fierce winds, which is the case, which was the case uh, a couple of nights ago. Uh, wind was just pounding against the windows here. And I was just thinking, I was actually quite grateful for the contractors who installed the windows because the windows were just buckling. Uh, and I thought to myself, I would never want to experience a hurricane or a tornado. I never, would never want to live through that. So, uh, But the wind that we had here the other night, it just made me think of high rises. Here we are on the sixth floor. We're you know, six floors above the ground. Uh, that's what the sixth floor means. But I just got thinking about all those individuals who build the high rises, which led me to think about Rodrigo Norina, old roommate of mine, a great friend. Uh, he's on my Facebook. He is an iron worker or was because he was telling me he's retired. So, but anyway, so I just thought of Rod in that moment of this fierce wind and the windows and the contractors. So one thing led to another and I ended up leaving. Uh, I just went to my messenger and instead of having the phone dictate what I was saying, I just hit the little microphone and actually left a message with him. And it wasn't 10 minutes later that Rod sent me a message. So it was just nice to hear his voice after a long, long time. I think the last time I saw Rodrigo, uh, he had a layover at YVR out in Vancouver. I drove out to the airport uh, and we hung out for two or three hours while he was waiting to catch his returning flight to Toronto. So that was the last time I saw Rod. So easily, I don't want to say 10 years, but that it could be that long. Uh, but to hear his voice, uh, he said in his message that he was going to uh, he was going to go fill up his truck and point the truck east and come here and visit us in Halifax. So that, that would be great. That would be great. Uh, I just want to quickly tell you about what's happening here with, uh, and I'm doing this in my apartment. If you can hear the cat, we have two cats. And the, Jen and uh, Tora are in the bedroom. And of course, baby wants to get in there. So she's meowing at the door. That's what that is. Uh, but uh, the voiceover career just want to quickly talk about that in a nutshell it has been uh, reignited I'm having a lot of fun I'm meeting lots of people I was in studio on Sunday afternoon uh, with a gentleman who I met through the Facebook page production resources Nova Scotia uh, Mark uh, home studio just a tremendous guy we have so much fun together so he and I worked on this animation demo because I'm trying to join the roster of Sky Talent here in Nova Scotia. So I am just reaching out to people. I spend my days because uh, maybe you don't know this, but I'm currently doing security here in Halifax. I'm one of the commissioners of Nova Scotia. I've been doing security at one government place in downtown Halifax. It's the working office of the Nova Scotia Premier, Tim Houston and all his gang. So that's just been tremendous. Uh, but because of COVID-19 and this pandemic, there's not a lot of people coming into the building. So my job is rather laid back at the moment. Obviously, you're, you still have to be aware of your surroundings and all that good stuff. But I spend my day researching and listening to the experts in the voiceover industry making notes. So I'm just so stoked for this year. Uh, I can't even tell you. So... That kind of leads into uh, a few months ago, our kid Kai Moon was telling me that I should get on TikTok. And years ago, someone was telling me I should have, I know I have an Instagram account, but I've never used it. I have a TikTok account that I set up months ago, but I just put up my first little uh, video. It's not even a video, it's a still photo of me talking about this show. I'm just gonna use it for promos. I don't really have any interest on getting in front of the camera aside from this. Uh, but so a shout out to Kaya Moon and a shout out to uh, Mike Stewart. Uh, I just want to see what I am for time here. Five minutes. Okay, I got five more minutes. I can do this. Uh, just a quick shout out to Mike Stewart uh, who sent me, uh, he sent me a message or he made a, a comment in one of my latest videos or a post. 
and he made reference to uh, TikTok. But for the life of me, I couldn't remember who Mike Stewart was. And even when I looked at his profile picture, I, I didn't recognize who this individual was. So I took the conversation and I went private. So I sent him a private message and I'll share it with you because it's not a big deal. But I honestly, in this message, I said, hey Mike, uh, I have to be honest here. I don't, I don't recognize your name or your face. And he kind of gave me an LOL and he said, don't worry about it. You know, I was kind of a few years younger than you, but I remember you from the radio station when you were Barney at Cox's shoe store. And I immediately knew who Mike Stewart was. So uh, just a shout out to Mike Stewart, who thought that me getting on TikTok was a good idea. And uh, we'll just see where it goes. Uh, quickly wrapping up, uh, like I mentioned a few moments ago, we are on the sixth floor of uh, an apartment building here on Barrington, North and Halifax, uh, with a spectacular view. We have just the perfect view for all the sunrises, the, the full moon, any, any moonrise is just magnificent. Uh, the storms, so we have a perfect view. So I'm just wondering, uh, in short, uh, on your property, on your slice of the planet, uh, what is your most favorite view of where you are living? So if you wanna share that, that's great. Kelly, glad you're still in here. Uh, and just one final thing, just going back to what I was saying a few moments ago where it's not really that busy at work. I have spent a lot of time on this one website. Uh, Chuck and Stacy are the host. He's an audio engineer. Uh, she's a voice artist and casting director and all kinds of good stuff. Uh, but they have a show called Voice Over Buzz Weekly. And I just want to give a shout out to those two. I've never met them. I may never meet them. Uh, but what they provide is an amazing service for people in the voiceover industry because they bring in the industry's best and they ask them the questions that you would love to ask them but would probably have to pay thousands of dollars to do so. So a shout out to that little... YouTube channel and those two individuals, Chuck and Stacy, voiceover weekly, uh, voiceover buzz weekly, I believe that's what, that's exactly what it is. Okay. Uh, three minutes to seven o'clock. I am out the door in about 20 minutes. That's it. Uh, that was like the premiere of WTF. It's Matt TV. Yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 645 right here on Facebook live. So I appreciate the live views. I appreciate the comments. Uh, if you're watching this at a later date, I appreciate that as well. Uh, my name is Matthew. This is Matt TV, now and always from C to C.